This videotape demonstrates a new adjunctive test to evaluate for the presence of nasolacrimal duct obstruction. This test is quick, simple, easy to learn, and is part of the routine slit lamp examination performed by ophthalmologists. Clinical tests that are used in the evaluation of nasolacrimal duct obstruction include the fluorescein dye disappearance test, the Jones 1 test, which is shown here, and if this test is negative, the Jones 2 test is usually performed. Shown here is a positive Jones 2 test. Other clinical tests to diagnose NLD obstruction include nasolacrimal irrigation, and direct visualization using video endoscopy. These clinical tests are time-consuming, can be unpredictable depending on the experience of the observer, and also require extra instrumentation as well as setup. An office test called the regurgitation test is performed by applying pressure over the lacrimal sac. The test is called positive for NLD obstruction if there is a billowing of pus or mucus from the puncta. This test is usually only positive in cases where there is severe dacryocystitis as is shown in these two cases. We have refined the regurgitation test by using slit lamp magnification and observing for reflux using the cobalt blue filter. Fluorescein is applied to both inferior cul-de-sacs and the patient asked to blink several times. The patient is then positioned in the usual manner for a slit lamp examination. The lacrimal sac is massaged with moderate pressure once or twice to empty the canaliculi. With a normally functioning nasolacrimal duct, further lacrimal sac massage will not yield further reflux of fluorescein from the punctum. On the other hand, in a patient with an obstruction, lacrimal sac massage yields further reflux of fluorescein stained tears from the inferior punctum. This test allows for more subtle appreciation of tear reflux present in NLD obstruction. We now show several successive positive tests followed by negative tests for comparison. Note the continued reflux of fluorescein stained tears with lacrymal sac massage. This patient shows further spontaneous reflux of tears after the massage has ceased. Several more positive tests are shown here. Higher magnification is sometimes used to demonstrate a positive test. This patient shows a positive micro-reflux test followed by bloody dacryoplenorrhea. Another positive MRT test.
shown now are negative MRT tests for comparison. In a patient with a patent nasolacrimal drainage system, there is no reflux of tears along the inferior punctum no matter how hard one presses the sac. In a normally functioning nasolacrimal drainage system, the valve of Rosenmuller prevents reflux of tears from the lacrimal sac into the canaliculi. In patients with obstruction, chronic inflammation or distension of the sac causes functional laxity of the valve. This allows for the reflux of tears with pressure on the lacrimal sac and is the basis for the micro reflux test. In summary, the micro reflux test is a safe, simple, easy to learn test that can be performed in less than a minute and is part of a routine slit lamp examination. It can be used to screen patients for subtle nasolacrimal duct obstruction. We hope that you find this test useful in your practice.